Okay. You people know how to fight Zoogles, yeah? Because I've got a big favor to Why? ask. You do indeed appear to be in dire straits. Just looking at how poor you look disgusts me. I could have sworn we already wiped out all the Zoogles that were trying to get into this village, though. No. <sighs> Oh, you did! These Zoogles ain't trying to attack us, they're stealing our fish. <laughs> Your fish?! Yeah, these ape Zoogles, they've got huge arms, which they use to smash the surface of the water and create these big shock waves. They do that to stun the fish, which makes them float to the surface and ripe for the Damn taking. It. Somehow they learned how to do that recently, and they've gotten dang good at it, because it's making the rest of us go hungry. Hmm. That's quite the pickle you're in. What? Darn straight it is. It ain't like these fish grow on trees! That sort of fishing ain't good for our waters. Oh, no. So? You've- you've awakened Kisara's angry fisherman. She's going to destroy you all. Ah, oh, so that's your point of contention. The manner in which they fish, not the actual fishing part. You guys are the only ones that have what it takes to drive those crazy monkeys out. Can we count on you to help? We'll see what we can do. Okay. Absolutely. We'll sort out these fishy fishing zoogles once and for all. I couldn't have put it better myself. Really? Really? You couldn't have put it better yourself? As a fisher herself, this case has gotten her quite fired up, as you can Great see. Great job. That's mighty kind of you to help us out, ma'am. Sorry to lay this on your feet, but we greatly appreciate it. Fishing fiends. Wonderful. I wonder if Kisara's gonna get a skill out of that. I'll teach these small fry who's the apex predator of these waters. Just watch and see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Oh, Kisara is most definitely an apex predator, without a doubt. Yeah, we do have part 100, but we still got like another 20 minutes before I need to intro part 100. This should be like either the end of part 98 or the start of part 99, one or the other. Hello, are there any other side quests in here? No, that's fine. I actually really want to forge some good weapons. It's not really a lot of work for me to do in a village like this. You look like you might give me something to do though. Crafting, boys. Oh, we've got new stuff too. But I don't have the tier 5 things I need for it. Plus 90! Oh my goodness. Refined Thunder Nail. This is a sword made out- This is a sword that Aku made. Like, this looks like the fire from Aku's fortress in Samurai Jack. You cannot tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you've already got your strongest sword from before, and these three are all new. So we just need to wait until we can get a lustrous Astral Fang. Or lustrous astral crystal, I mean. Refined tenebrous staff. Don't have any tempest fangs. Don't have any ice stones. I could make this for you in the meantime, but it's so much weaker. I should wait for either one of these two. Preferably refined tenebrous staff, because that's what I have equipped right now anyway. Oh, even though I have a tenebrous staff equipped, it says that I don't have one to use. I guess you have to unequip it. We'll do that later. Black iron gauntlets. Oh my goodness. That's insanely good. Supreme, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make the refined crystal knuckles. I don't know when we'll be able to get these black iron gauntlets, but I wanna go ahead and give you these because they're a huge boost and then this will be another huge boost because it might be a while before we get the lustrous astral crystal. So we need to make crystal knuckles and then we can make that. Craft. Craft and equip. There we go. Yo, I might actually change your thing to that. Those look really good. Kisara. Ooh, the Radiant Shield. It's just a black version of your usual shield. But again, we don't have the Lustrous thing yet. Oh, I'm short one Ice Stone. Yo, that looks clean. I want that. This also looks really good. Oh, these are both so cool. Like, I want to craft this because it's the best one. But we're also going to craft this because I think this is what I want her shield to look like. Like, I want that to be what it's set to. That one is also really good. But that, oh baby, that, who? I wish I could make that. I hope I get an outfit change where her gold turns to silver to match this. That looks nice. I want that really badly. The Dark Wings, just straight up. Okay, that's super cool. But we don't have infused statue fragments. Radiant Light Part 2. Let's go ahead and make you the Arts of the Cosmos. And equip that for now. And then the Dark Wings will still be really worth it when we can make that for you. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That's good for uh, that's good for that stuff right now. Let's look at selling. Yo, tons of gold just for those dog tags. 
Uh, how much are... I had, like, 50 of something. Of, like, uh... Yeah, go to all and then go to acquired. Do astral crystal. I have 48 of these and they're worth 400 a pop. I'm just gonna make 12k right there. Thank you. Keep 18 of those for now. Got a couple of these I can use. Dragon flame sack is what we needed for uh, for Shion to get a new weapon. So just hold on to that for a while. Windswept main we have a lot of we can sell. I don't think we're going to need any anytime soon either for crafting. Man, this is the most money I've ever had. It's great. I love having money. I'm going to sell this resist ring. I would rather make a better resist ring instead of use that. Okay. Well, that went incredibly well. We Have should look at potential accessories. Lately? Hello? Resistance, penetration, elemental attack. Can I make a better magic emblem for uh, Renwell? Decreased aggro is really nice. Water damage is also really good for her. Curse resistance is meh. Decision. Yo, straight up elemental attack plus 20 and rare drop rate up, even if it's small. Seems really good, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I would either do this one, because water damage 15%, but she doesn't only use water arts. I kind of just want straight elemental attack up and then the rare drop rate. Let's go with that. Alright, made a magic emblem. I have so many. I can make a tier 4 resist thing. Isn't, uh, resist is what Kisara uses, isn't it? Decreases damage from all elemental attacks. I think that's what we have on Kisara. So let's see what these tier 4 options are. Water damage up, decreased aggro. That is not what I want on... On, uh... Oh my goodness, I might actually want that on Rinwell. Large decrease of aggro and super water damage up. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it, but we might. Rare drop rate up small, increased aggro, large, defense plus 20. That sounds great for Kisara. Light damage, fire, water damage down, max HP, increased aggro small, HP, elemental attack 60. Elemental attack 60 is pretty good. I do kind of like the idea of Kisara taking more aggro. And we get drop rate up and just some extra normal defense. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that for Kisara. Do we have any really... Still, dude, I need new pierce emblems because I want to give more penetration to Law and... Uh to Law and Dohalim, because I think they're wearing Penetrate things. Rare Drop Rate, Elemental Attack, Elemental Defense. I'm just going to go ahead and make that, because it seems really good. We might use it on someone. Elemental Attack, Wind Damage, Alertness. Defense plus 60. Wind Damage up, Wind and Earth Damage down. Mmm. Hold on to that for now. I'd like to check their wares, if you don't mind. I didn't enhance any of them, because I'm dumb. Anything that is tier 1 is now worthless, so we should just... Like, I'm never going to use a tier 1 item, so, like, all of these should just go into leveling this up. I don't think I'm ever going to use a level 2 either, to be honest. That's really good now. That's the one that I might use. Oh, man. That's a lot of water damage up and decreased aggro, but this is just straight attack up. But this is tier 4. And it is elemental damage, so like when she is, when Rinwell is targeted, she won't be hit as much. I think I'm going to use Okay, yeah, I'm going to use all of these, so not the- I don't think I'm gonna use the magic one. I, I, I shouldn't have made it, but too little too late. Whoops. Max this out real quick, don't mind me. Alright, now who are- who are getting these tier 4 items? Let's see. Equipment. Definitely Rinwell. You get... 
The magic emblem three is tempting, but I do honestly think the big water because you're the you're the one who casts the giant water like typhoon that takes over the middle of the stage, right? I'm pretty sure. It's gonna decrease your aggro. Like we're gonna lose a lot of elemental attack here, though. But I think it's worth it. Because your water arts will still do, uh, will get a big boost. Because, like, how much is this percentage? It's plus 15% that's giving you that 77. So your water arts are going to get more than plus 77 damage. Specifically, your other arts will still do plenty. You'll take less elemental damage when you're hit by magic. And you'll have a lot. I think this is the right call. I might be wrong, but I think that's a good idea. You have a resist ring 3. And I want to give you the resist ring... Four or the protectoring four. This is increased aggro. This is elemental attack plus 60, elemental defense plus 20. Wow, that just gives you a big buff to your defenses, huh? So this would give you plus 40 elemental attack, plus 20 elemental defense. You would keep the, uh, or you would get minus 20% damage. This would be, you get less elemental, oh, that's elemental attack. I don't care about your elemental attack all that much. I mostly care about how defensive you are. And this is all elemental damage down, which your element defense is your worst stat because magic hurts you. But this also gives us some drop rate and increased aggro. I think I want to go with that one. And then, how much penetration do you lose if I switch you to something else? 182, wow, okay. Uh, not worth in that case. You have a Pierce Emblem level 2. Elemental Attack plus 60. Elemental Defense plus 20. You're going to lose like 100 penetration, but you also take less physical damage. I actually kind of like this for Dohalim. I might switch him back to a penetration-based accessory when we get a higher tier one. I really hope we can get like a tier 4 Pierce soon. And, like, a tier 4 warrior emblem would also be fantastic for Alfin. But, uh, I think I like these changes we've made. Really just need a better pierce emblem for... For my boy. Or even a better warrior emblem. I might be willing to give up some penetration for giving him more attack. Anyways, uh, I think that's a good idea, Wolfen. Maybe turn off some of Rinwell's non-water arts so that she uses them more? I'm gonna be honest, I kind of want to turn off your, like, attack arts. And put you to full-on magic, because now you use Freeze Lancer and Spread. I'll let you keep Celestial Hammer so that you have a... Well, you never use this one, though. Which one of these do you usually use? Thunderfield and Photon Flash? Keep Photon Flash, turn off Celestial Hammer. You don't use it anyway. Nah, do Lightning Orb. So keep Lightning Orb, and then keep Air Thrust, and... Oh, this is how you Tidal Wave, is by Freeze Lancer, Magic Charging. Okay. Yeah, keep all four of these, and then keep Lightning Orb, so you have a normal attack, but then, like, now that you have decreased aggro as well, I want you to just focus on casting, basically. Your Mystic Arts also have a count to them? Excuse me? Do Mystic Arts, like, get better? Could you learn new Mystic Arts by using a lot of Mystic Arts? How many times have I used Scarlet Outburst? Almost 50. Almost at the second star. Interesting. Very interesting. You have 1,400. What the heck? Oh, because you're saving up for the 2,000 one. Right, right, right. Photon Flash is actually really good. Better than Lightning Orb IMO. Did I do the opposite or something? I don't really know what Rinwell's things are, but sure, I'll just take your word for it, Lone Wolf. We'll do Photon Flash instead. I mostly just want her to focus on using the Water Arts, but I also don't want to take away her Wind and her Lightning move. That should be fine. Let's see how that goes. Alright, and then, I, I promise we're almost done with buying and menuing and stuff. Definitely need to, uh, reload. Oh, we can buy treats now! Oh, thank you. I'm going to take three of those. Being able to buy treats is so useful. Orange gels. Buy like five of them. 
We're already super low on money, but we're not super low on life bottles, which is good. Give me like three lemon gels and then give me like three peach gels. And there goes most of our money. Awesome. We could also buy armor, but I honestly, I feel like... If I'm going to buy armor for anyone, I'm going to buy it for Kisara because it gives like plus 60 to all of her stuff. But I feel like buying armor is almost always a waste because if you just like go through the CP option, like the CP you can never world map prepared. items but did we have to spend so and much? other stuff, you can like, you'll always end up finding better armor. Did you sell your stuff? Yeah, I sold a lot. I don't know if I sold like everything I could, but I sold a ton of stuff. But we were able to like load back up on items pretty well. Poodle? And we also, uh, we got some new weapons as well as we spent a lot on accessories right there. <sighs> I should probably sell any other older. I know we, we have that item, that lucky item one that I'm not going to use anymore because it's only a tier one that's worth like 5k. We should sell that. Can I fast travel to other areas in the game again yet? Nope, they're all still cut off. Okay. So we can't go back and do any of those other side quests. Defeat four Terrapin Fists. Where are they at? Are they over here? No, they're probably back the other way. Let's find the owl in this area and then move on to the next spot, probably. Where we'll get this side quest done and hopefully it'll give us a lot of... A lot of stuff. Three life bottles and 3,800 gold is amazing. No SP, though? Oh, no SP, though, is a letdown. I would honestly give up 3,000 gold for, like, 200 SP, to be completely real with you. Where is Hoodle's friend? Where is he at? Where is he at? Hello, yes, I have your side quest. Oh, it's around here. Hoo-hoo. Where are you? Where are you? I hear you nearby. Are you, like, down low? Oh, you're right in here. Hello. Star hair clip. It's like a little pow poo fruit. It is almost time the owl for part 100. Can I go back to the owl forest? Will it let me go back there? Or am I also not allowed to go back to the owl forest? Oh, I can't even go to the owl forest. Unfort. I was hoping we'd have more than one side quest. It is almost time for part 100, but we got a couple of minutes left in what should be part 99 on YouTube. So let's go ahead and see what the next area is like and see if we get a skit or something. And then I'll probably have to intro part 100, depending. Shinefall Woods, huh? Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Pretty big area. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? More boars. Hiking through the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. It feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Silly Dohalim, we can't do the hot spring sing yet. We don't have Shion on hand. There's no way they're gonna do the hot spring without Shion. Hello there, I'm gonna murder you. Just See you later, K-pop. Thanks for coming to stream. Punch it. Time to die, you stupid bored freak. Triple Luna Rondo. Oh, I tried to... Dang it, I, that's right. I can't do my fire arts anymore. I gotta remember that I can't do them anymore. I was trying to Phoenix, and I was like, why can't I Phoenix? Can I literally just not combo with, uh... With Rinwell anymore as Alvin, because I don't have the thing for it? Oh, someone's mad. 
I haven't seen Kisara go into overlimit all that much. She normally overlimits a lot too. I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Yeah, buddy, get that count up now that I know that that's a count. Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! Got him. Don't get complacent. Never get complacent. Fine. A barbed crystal. Ooh. Ooh, is tier four barbed crystal? Is that like the, is it what I think it is? Is that the pierce emblem I was just hoping to get for law? Is that the Zugo we're looking for? It is indeed. We will beat those up in a little bit. Actually, let's beat them up right now, and then after this, I probably need to intro part 100. And you know how we're gonna start part 100, chat? That's right, you guessed it. We're gonna start part 100 by fishing. No better part 100 than a waifu fishing part 100, am I right, fellow gamers? In fact, we'll just, you know what? We'll just fish for an hour. Just fish for all of, uh, for all of part 100. Honestly, I think the YouTube viewers will love it. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Can you just no. only Lightning Take Tiger Blade if you no. combo with Alfin without the Fire Sword? No further. Didn't mean to do that, that's fine. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. Some frosty van braces, okay. This is a pretty roundabout area. A lot of branching paths. All right, well, I think that we're going to... Don't go anywhere, Twitch chat, because we're going to stream for another hour. But for those of you watching on YouTube, unless I've done some really bad math, this should be the end of part 99. Thank you all so much for watching this playthrough so far. Just thank you so much. It's uh, super backlogged. I think the last part I uploaded was like part 50-something, but people are still, like, watching a lot of Tales of Arise. Like, all of the videos still get a, a good chunk of views, which means that you guys must be really enjoying and watching. So, thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the playthrough, presumably. I'm loving playing it. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see, uh, if you guys want to see any of this live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there, or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. And the next video you see on YouTube will be part 100, which will be an hour long. So, great, great fun. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Till then, farewell.